Alright, today I'm going to cast a ring in silver using this Delft clay. This is the ring we're going to be casting. It's quite a simple shape, just carved in wax. This Delft clay system um, you can buy from the majority of suppliers. Uh, it originally comes with two round forms, though I've made these simple rectangular forms, which I think uh, enable me to cast a lot, uh, a lot more thing, a lot more different forms. Now, first, I fill the bottom with its delft clay. It has to be compacted a little bit so it holds together. It doesn't have to be very hard. It's good to work on a good flat surface like this because it gives the clay itself a good flat finish into which to press the form that you're going to cast. So that's the first half just filled with clay. We take our form we're going to cast. And I think I'm going to cast this ring with the, the narrowest part of the ring down in the mould. So the ring itself is pressed halfway down into the clay. You have to be a little bit clever with the, the form you're going to be casting. It takes a little bit of experience to, to know how you're going to put the wax into the clay. Not all shapes can be cast like this. But I think I probably cast 90% of what I do, maybe more doing there with this technique. So that's the first part filled and with the clay and the wax in. The next is to have a layer of uh, uh, ideally talcum powder, but here I'm using um, cinnamon. Any dry powder will work to isolate the first layer of clay from the top. The powder is brushed around and that fills in all the, g the gaps and holes. And as I said, isolates the first and second layer. A good amount, but then the majority of it should be brushed off. Purists will want to use talcum powder because it is finer. I'm going to put the top layer on and fill it again with the clay. A bit messy. Ideally not the sort of thing to do on your main workbench. And as long as you tidy up after yourself, it doesn't get too bad. You can compress the clay, as I'm doing here, just with your fingers. Or with the help of a hammer. So there we have a form ready to be opened. You just get a little sideways wiggle just to loosen it and carefully. Let me see, we have the two halves ready. Next step is to cut away a funnel like shape through which we're going to pour the silver and we cast. It's worth spending time to get this neat to ensure that no small bits of clay fall down inside the, the form. You can, if you want to, actually modify, repair, and just generally change the form. Although it's best to do all the work in the wax first. You can see how I'm just pressing in where it got broken away because I wasn't careful enough opening it. And again on the other side we cut a corresponding tunnel funnel form. Most important thing is air holes. As the silver comes in to the form, so air needs to be able to escape out. So I do that by cutting in channels. And this clay really does need to be sliced rather than dragged or ploughed and keep everything as neat as possible. 
and a hole goes all the way through the, the form to allow air to escape and as you can see the air hole is at quite an angle this is to ensure that this, the metal doesn't simply run out of the form when you cast which can happen You can probably get away with less than five air holes. It really does depend on the form you're casting, but for the safety sake I like to use five. If you're casting a form that uh, has got angles, right angles and sharp edges, then it's a good idea to put air holes at the points of these edges, so the apex of the angle. Ensure that air can escape and the silver can move in. Alright, now we just take that ring out. And blow away any excess and just double check the air holes. It's very easy that as you cut into the clay it moves into the casting area. So we can just press back a bit. One last check to make sure the air holes are all clear and I can see there, see it? And two halves together. And squeeze just to make sure that the halves haven't moved away inside the form. And just put a locking band or strap, in this case, it's a simple piece of wire around the form. And that is ready to cast, which will be part two. Thank you for watching.